Welcome everybody, day 15, balance. This is a big one. There's a lot of parallels between a yoga practice and how we move through life, right? In fact, it, it's, it, they are parallels. If I am balanced in my life, it doesn't necessarily mean that my balance physically um, in a yoga practice is going to be on point. It doesn't mean I'm never gonna fall out of a pose. It doesn't mean that I'm always gonna be perfectly still, which again is a, is a myth. But the parallel being, if I can express compassion for myself in a yoga posture where I'm falling out a lot, it's the same in life as you move in and out of situations and circumstances that either either working out in the moment or perceived not working out for you in the moment. How do you handle those moments? And from a balanced standpoint, are you, am I, in my everyday life, making space for balance in all areas, from my relationships to my well-being to um, you name it, the list just goes on and on and on. So keep that in mind as we move through this practice, that if you happen to be someone that's falling out of a lot of these postures, or even if you're not, um, but mostly if you are, to be kind to yourself and to realize that you as a person is not defined by your ability to hold these postures balance-wise without falling out. Falling out is important. That's why we do them, so we can come back, right? And we can continue to learn because you don't ever get this pose or these postures, all right? So let's just dive in, let's go right into it, and I'm excited about this one. All right, so we'll begin all fours. Again, cat cows, we all know what we're doing now, yes? All fours, shoulders, wrists, hips, knees. Here we go, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Even here, you can feel that balance, right? Inhale, arch. The stability found here. Exhale, round. Remember this as we get to the more challenging balance. This guess. Flat back, inhale. Just get a stretch back to a down dog. Exhale, get the back of the legs. A little bit of a stretch, bend the feet out. And eventually, just walk your feet towards your hands. And when you get there, feet hips width and distance. Put a bend in your legs, hands to thighs. I'm gonna roll up one vertebrae, 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 vertebrae
The jerkiness is where it gets a little bit weird, right? Where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm not doing this wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. There is no right or wrong here. Just breathe. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Inhale, press down, rise up. Exhale, release. Feet slide together again. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, right arm under the left. Now here, I can hug myself or twist tie the arms, right? You decide, sit back and down. I'm gonna pick this right leg up. Maybe I stay on the toes. Maybe calf in front of the shin, toes down. Maybe I pick the leg up and cross it all the way over and I squeeze the outer shins together. Squeezing arms and legs. Big balancer here. My visual, I'm focused on one thing in front of me. Elbows down, chest up. And just breathe. Breathe. One more. Beautiful. From here, inhale, plant both feet. Arms reach out. Switching sides. Left arm underneath. Twist tie or hug. You decide. You sit back, you sit down. Again, any height with the hips, you choose. There is no right or wrong. Left leg lifts, and again, if you need that little bit of extra support, use it. Use the support that you got. Twist your legs, squeeze the shins, squeeze the arms. Now again, we're in a world of opposites, right? At least right now. Chest is up, elbows down. Relax your face. Move with your body. Notice how much it's actually moving right now. It's quite a bit of movement. One more. There we go, that's it. Unwind, inhale, plant the feet, arms up, and then let it go. Palms together, inhale, center of the chest, sit back, sit down into the hips. Notice, I can go way down if you want to, go for it. Deep breath in, turn to your left, twist to your left as you exhale. Now maybe it looks like this, hand out of thigh, left hand opposite hip. Maybe it's fully twisted, you decide. Arm into leg, leg into arm. This is all I need this morning, right here. And that's an important thing to know because we like to push ourselves sometimes and think like that's the way. The way is whatever you need it to be now, right now. One more breath. Good, we're coming back to center, arms up. Release the arms, exhale. Palms meet. Sitting back and down. Chest is up, inhale. And now I rotate the other way. Now notice one knee is not in front of the other, legs aren't apart, right? I'm squeezing inner thighs, rotating, knees stay on the same plane, hips stay on the same plane. Gaze down, side, up, you choose. As calm as you can be right here, trusting I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. Breathing in, I'm breathing out. Yeah, but what about that thing? I don't know, no, no, no. Breathing in, I'm breathing out. Good, inhale, straighten. Exhale, let it go. Hands to hips, squeeze the elbows towards one another, and just take your gaze, track it up the front wall or whatever's in front of you, start to look up. That's all I'm doing. Looking up as I squeeze the elbows in. And maybe it's just a little bit of a look up, maybe it's a lot. Maybe I see the wall straight above me, maybe I see the wall behind me. And imagine a high jump, you're a high jumper going up and over. Breathe, chest wide open, all this space open across the chest. One more. Beautiful, inhale to rise, slow, no hurry. And exhale, release the arms. Pause right here, eyes open or closed, take a breath, don't move around. Relax your shoulders, exhale. Now, with this minimal excess movement, Separate the feet hips width, one, two, legs slightly bent, inhale the arms up, fold as you exhale. Once the fingertips touch, legs bent, right foot slides back, you're up on the fingertips. I can stay here, right, your choice. I can bring the hands up to the thigh, perfect. I can sweep the arms alongside, and then I hold. Wherever you choose to be, hold. And again, Underwater, you know, like seaweed moves underwater. It's very graceful. It's just moving. It's not resisting the movement. I'm not judging myself. Let's go. Breathe. One more. Good. Bottom of that exhale. Hands, fingertips to the floor. If they're not already, right, step forward. 
And as you do, bend the legs, left foot back. No thought about it. I stay down right here. This is brilliant. Sometimes I stay here, I use blocks. Sometimes I'm up on the thigh. Today I'm gonna go right here. Arms parallel. Now there's this whole thing of, I need to get way up here. Relax. Right here, parallel to the sides. Fingertips extending. If you're at 110% with where you're direction-wise, where you're trying to go, back off. Go down to 80, right? Maybe even 70. Relax the fingers a bit. One more breath. Good, exhale, fingertips to the floor. I'm gonna rock myself forward. Again, no hurry and no thought. Legs bent, right foot slides back. Again, I'm in a beautiful base here and I'm gonna walk the hands up the left thigh and then I can stay right here. I don't need to go anywhere or the arms off. And they can be as wide or as narrow as you want them to be. Slightly bent or straight. Just pull the shoulders down, lift the belly up. One more breath. Good, now from here, just bring the fingertips back down to the floor. I'm gonna spin the back heel down. I can actually watch it. And my back leg is straight. Both arms come inside the left leg. And now I'm gonna make my way up by pressing down. And the arms open up. It's easy, safe way to come into warrior two here. And I breathe. Yeah, the front leg is starting to burn a little bit. Great news, conscious mind, thank you for that bit of information. It's so helpful right now. One more breath. Balanced, strong, palms are gonna turn in now. And I'm gonna bring this left wrist inside the left knee and bring this right arm straight up. That's all I need to do. I can also rest the forearm here without dumping. Everything's still engaged. Connection with breath here, in and out. In and out. One more. Take a deep breath in. Let's bring the hands all the way down on the breath out. Back heel's gonna spin high, and I'm gonna rock back to step forward. From here, lift the chest, inhale, and then fold over your thighs. Exhale, legs bent, left foot sliding back. This should feel good. Take some relief out of the front leg. It's best for me right now. <laughs> hands walking up. Again, choice, stay right here, or arms up. I like to keep the arms wide because it gives me a sense or a feeling of being open across the chest. When I do this, there's a feeling of being closed off. So that's just personal. So you, you've got to figure out which works best for you. One more breath. Good, with that exhale, the hands come down. Again, remember, both arms inside. I can see my back heel coming down and then I rise up. And then as you get here, notice the tendency to want to do this. Cut it out, land, hold. Breathe, pick a spot, look at it. And the palms are gonna turn in the opposite direction to the left, and then bring the right wrist inside the knee, left arm straight up. You wanna go lower, you wanna stay higher, you can. It's your choice. I like this because I get a lot of space out of just being right here. In my body, it feels good. One more breath. Here you go. Good. Release the hands down to the floor. Back heels high. Rocking to step. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold up. Now, feet separate, right? I'm going to bend the legs. Hands to thighs. That's how I like to do it. You can let the arms hang. And I'm rolling up. Vertebrae. My vertebrae, my vertebrae, my vertebrae. Head the very last thing. Really let it hang. And you're going to rush up. Notice if you just skip this whole thing as you rush. Oh, I'm gonna stand again, roll those shoulders back, relax the arms, just be still. Notice the tendency again to want to move, close your eyes, take a breath in. And out. Nothing else, no mind, just take one step back. See, one, two, so two. But you're here, hands to hips, legs bent, no thought. Again, I'm not moving around a whole bunch. I'm very sure, grounded, right leg lifts. Now maybe this is enough for today, or I can start to lean chest forward as I kick back, or maybe even down, right? Arms eventually extend alongside. Like right here is great for me this morning. That's all I need. Chest yours, maybe parallel to the floor. One more breath. Again, with that balance, 
arms if you happen to be constantly coming out, it's okay. Rising up, feet flat, arms relax. I don't, that is done. I'm going to the other side, hands to hips, legs bend, left leg lifts. Our mind likes to get caught up and then either stay or lean, if they can extend into those around us, which in a class setting can be something very distracting, right? Like, I should be doing it this way. Look at this person, maybe that's right. But what's right for you? Rarely ask that question. What's right for you right now? Trust that no matter what's going on around you. Here we go. Inhale, beautiful. Plant your feet. Relax your arms. No thought. Inhale the arms up. Right arm releases on the exhale. Don't notice my palm just opened up. I'm going to keep that to reach back for the inside edge or close the palm and reach for the outer edge, right? You decide what works best for you. Hug the knees together, start to kick into your hand. Reach forward and up through the left arm. Now again, bent leg, straight leg. It's entirely up to you. I like to keep a slightly bent leg while kicking and my gaze is its focus. Think about it. And if you're falling out in the knee-jerk reactions to get upset, check yourself. Who are you trying to impress? There's no one to impress. You're not trying to get anywhere. There is no good, bad, right, or wrong here. So just breathe. Have a laugh. Come back. Good. Inhale the rest. Let it go. It's done. Exhale. No time to think about it. We're already to the next side. Inhale up. Left arm. Reaching back, knees hug, kick to reach. One more inhale, rising. And then that's done, exhale. Hands to hips again, no time to think about. Right knee opens, heel, either two, listen. Ankle, heel to calf, heel to inner thigh. You decide, I'm gonna stick with the calf. Hands stay to hips, palms be the center, arms extend, wrap around your back, one arm up and down. It doesn't matter where the arms go, you decide. This works good. Like today, this is good. This feels right in my body, what feels right in yours. Again, notice if there's jerkiness to the movement. Can you move with the flow of your own rhythms? Good, and then release the arms if they're up, hands to hips, bring the leg forward, lower it down, and without stepping a bunch of steps, open the left leg up, heel to ankle calf or inner thigh. Before you have time to be consciously thinking about the posture, you're in it. Does it need to match the other side? No. You decide. Okay, beautiful. Inhale. You're going to release on your exhale. Hands to hips, leg forward, feet down, arms by your sides. Take a big breath in. Sweep the arms up. Left out, fold, lower down onto your knees, and back up to that comfortable seated position that you started. And this is where we'll be. So from this comfortable seat now, again, closing your eyes, relaxing the gaze if that's not an option. But again, just finding stillness and relative stillness for you. Also being aware of the fact that you can let that narrative go at any time. That this practice, any practice, doesn't define who you are. That you can lead and live a balanced life each and every day, just by coming back to the present moment. Placing hands 
across the center of the chest, bowing your knees, thanking yourself. Seal this practice together. Deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. to like, subscribe, and to sign up for notifications when new videos become available. Thank you so much.